Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your 2023. And, oh, wait, I think something might have changed, you guys. <laughs> something might have changed. Um, so quickly, I'll say in a couple of videos, this technically is the closest um, to my face you're going to see. It is actually taken from a real photo and basically made into a cartoon version version and my animation person did the rest um so i'll mention it in a few videos if people ask um and um as people continue to watch and so forth um but today of course we are talking love and marriage huntsville as you know we are waiting on the ratings of the reunion part two episode to see if they increased or decreased or what have you but in this particular video we are discussing carlos king basically saying that nothing is going to be happening to martel holt and melody shree wise and and here's the thing whether or not you like melody Sheree or Martel hold or not they their whole storyline you guys their marital issues everything that has commenced they're the reason for the highest ratings on the show they deserve to be there you guys they deserve to be there when it's all said and done um, because Melody Sheree specifically put the show on the map she made the show a hit this is her baby she's not going anywhere I am glad at least Carlos King recognizes that trying to allow the cast to try to do what Mary to Medicine did to Mariah is not the answer. I'm glad that he at least realizes that, you know, trying to, you know, ice Melody Sheree off the show or do all these other shenanigans is not going to allow Love and Marriage Huntsville to last much longer. But with that being said, if this cast cannot get along, what is the solution, you guys? What is the solution? Because he's still trying to make the core six the comeback group happen and i think the problem that you have now is there's too much damage that's been done there's too much damage that has been done to the point that there are all of these shenanigans that continue to take place currently on social media that you know these other cast members want to try to bring onto the show to try to use against melody sheree or try to gaslight melody sheree and then you have the situation as to where you know, Letitia's being two-faced. Now she's not going to be able to utilize her mother as a mouthpiece anymore. And, you know, tries to be in Melody Cherie's face, trying to, you know, again, gain access, gain connections, this and that. And then literally the second Melody Cherie's back is turned is still bashing her, right? Is still bashing her. The only person who has been probably the most consistent, I would say, is Kimmy out of out of everyone right as as it pertains to the relationship with melody sheree everyone else they act victim they pretend that they're not doing anything wrong they make it seem as though melody sheree is responsible for all of their problems and all of their issues and all of their insecurities and really the fact of the matter of it is this is rooted in people who are obsessed with trying to take melody sheree down right she doesn't respond to the negativity in the way that they would like so they continue to poke the bear she does not you know engage with their foolishness until it reaches a point of no you know no return or what have you so then that's not fair according to them and and it's just non-stop you guys it is just non-stop and it's like at what point are we really going to sit down and assess of the cast who really deserves to be back you guys because as you guys know they're already filming the following season i believe that started around the holidays at the end of 2022 you guys um but this whole thing of this fantasy of thinking that the comeback group is going to be what it once was is a and it is a fantasy at best you guys is a fantasy at best and i feel that having both scott couples on this show is a mistake you guys Having both Scott couples on the show is a mistake. Now, I will say Marso gives what he needs to give for being a reality TV villain, even though he's completely treating his wife like crap. Uh, but his wife is not doing anything, you guys. His wife is not doing anything other than basically allowing herself to be disrespected and humiliated on national TV for several seasons now just to say that she has a husband, you guys. That is not entertaining the fans, you guys. Um, you know, and as for Kimmy and Maurice, their marriage is nothing to aspire to either uh, because Maurice does some of the same gaslighting tactics as Marceau. He's just a lot more slick and clever with it. 
and you know essentially has kimmy convinced or she's convinced herself that as long as all of these alleged you know hookups affairs whatever took place prior to them legally being husband and wife a couple of years ago that it doesn't matter right that it doesn't matter because they technically were single right and that is just completely and utterly blasphemous that is completely and utterly ridiculous and i cannot believe that kimmy is standing by that foolishness you guys I don't know what is going on to where, you know, these women have to feel this validation and this need to be accepted and this need to be recognized as long as they have a husband mentality came from. But we got to ax it, you guys. We got to ax it. And for some reason, I don't know if these people were expecting Melody Sheree to just continue to stay with Martel as he has a baby with his side chick, as he, you know, tries to put out in different interviews speculation about Melody Sheree and whether or not she cheated, whether or not she did X, Y, and Z to absolve himself of the guilt that he is still carrying around, you guys. No, 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 no. We all saw through it, and that is why the cast is mad, you guys. And this is what always happens with the fan fave, you guys. This is what always happens with the fan fave on these reality shows is people feel a certain type of way that somebody gets the most fan base, right? Somebody gains the largest fan base. And even if you're not a melometer, you understand what the BS is, that what is taking place, right? And they try to do this collective effort. It happens on every single reality show, you guys, where they'll try to see if they can ice out the fan fave. If they can try to flip it and make it seem as like, okay, if we all gang up on this one person, if we all make it seem like this one person is the problem, maybe that can skew the views of the fans and then they'll be on our side and then we can tap in to that fan base. But the problem is it is not working no matter how hard in the paint they go no matter how much dirtier or gutter they go nobody is falling for the foolishness you guys nobody is falling for the shenanigans because everybody is up one game everybody is up one game and you know these new people that keep coming in that is you know pseudo affiliated with martel in a some kind of way come on the show to pretend like they're cool with mel and they want mel's connections only to immediately backstab her when the moment presents itself and then try to make it seem as though they can push this false narrative that Melody Cherie doesn't have friends, when in fact Melody Cherie's real friends see the damage that this show can do to people's reputations and you know how invasive and investigative these fans are and pulling up all your tea and digging up all your receipts and the like and so forth that they want no parts of it you guys they want no parts of it they want to live their quiet lives and continuing to support melody sheree in real life and not you know anything for the cameras not anything to be fake not anything to get on the show and gain clout and so forth so there's that so i'm not expecting anything to ever happen to you know martel or melody sheree you guys when it's all said and done i'm glad at least carlos king has the you know cognizant to know that that is the move to at least not you know get rid of the star of the show right to not get of this get rid of the star of the show right um i just unfortunately wish that martel realized that him and melody sheree working together co-parenting together is the best attempt at you know trying to get things moving along then this back and forth, this gaslighting, this hacking of devices, these spying tactics, all of these things, you know, trying to see if he can get access to something, trying to see if he can get access to Melody Cherie's money, trying to see if he can use something to try to still paint a picture that Melody Cherie was the issue to excuse his cheating, to excuse him having a child on his ex-wife is not acceptable, you guys, is not acceptable. Um, and I wish Martel would have just moved completely different, you know, regarding the Dustin trip and there and after. And it just seems like we're just again going in the wrong direction. We're going down as Portia says, the wrong road, the wrong road. We are going down the absolute wrong road. Um, so there's that. So what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about people who think that, you know, Melody Sheree and Martel should be fired from the show, you guys? Um, Melody Sheree, definitely not. Even though the show is called Love and Marriage Huntsville, you know, just like Married to Medicine, if in fact you do end up getting a divorce, that doesn't mean your journey, sh you know, shouldn't still be followed. The issue is when the cast member is completely toxic, right? That is when the issue arises, right? 
But there's no way that Carlos King, even if the fans want Martel gone, there's no way Carlos King is letting that happen. And it's clear as day. But the problem is Martel needs to give something to now, right? He needs to give something to instead of trying to ban with the Scots to try to ice out Melody Cherie because that's not going to work, right? He is better, like I said, co-parenting with Melody Cherie um, than he is fighting with Melody Cherie and trying to find an issue and trying to get access to her money and so forth, you guys. So there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post the content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.